if this video goes up, it means that I put in my three weeks notice and I am quitting my salary job, my nine to five, once and for all, on June 7th, 2019. Today, real time, is May 15th, 2019, and I've had my salary job, nine to five, um, job as an associate economist for a little over three years now and why am I quitting I am quitting because I am unhappy there and it's not specific to this company but I am unhappy because I am not living and doing something that I feel like I'm using my complete human potential in and as an economist I can easily see when certain services are in demand and when certain services require not only the services that you can provide but also the way that you present yourself your understanding of business and I feel that I have the administrative and the business and the economical experience with that and as silly and as outlandish that this idea may sound I am quitting my job without anything planned without another job lined up because I want to work for myself I have been searching I quit my nine-to-five how I quit my 9 to 5, why I quit my 9 to 5 videos for like the last month and I have been sick of my 9 to 5 for two years or so and two years has gone by since I first made that complaint and nothing really has changed. When you receive those wonderful praises and you don't feel positive from it. You just feel like, yeah, okay, thank you. Like you already, it doesn't validate any other, anything about yourself. And this is why I am quitting my nine to five and I'm not going to go get another associate economist position. Um, and it's not as though I am particularly bad at my job. I feel like I'm great at my job. But even the simplest things take so much work for me to complete because it's as though I am exerting so much of this scarce energy that I have in forcing myself to do something. And it's, it's not because I hate it. It's not because I don't know how to do it. It's not because I need to learn more things about economics. It's because I know that I want to do something else and I know that with the realm of economics and forensic econ economics I feel like I've conquered that and I want to do something different. For today I'm making this video because I want to hold myself accountable and I want to start a hold me accountable series where as scary as it is <laughs> To quit a job, quit my very first and only salary job with, I calculated this because I've thought about quitting this job so many times, um, spending the way that I do now and um, obviously being able to pay all of my bills, I can do so with my um, checking and savings account with the money that I have there for seven months. and. Um, I also have a personal investment account and two retirement accounts, three retirement accounts that I could take out from if I wanted to. This is uh, the My Kind of Economical channel and I will keep it going to share my journey, um, a video diary for myself, really. and hold myself accountable so that I follow through with what I'm going to do and I want to work hard every single day 
every hour and feel fulfilled and feel great about the work that I've, I've done that day and be completely in control of how much, my, how much money I'm going to take, when I'm going to take a break. That is why I'm quitting my 9 to 5. And I don't care how much money I'm going to make as long as I, it pays for my bills and I'm happy and I'm getting better and better. There are an unlimited number of services that I can provide and I could learn about. So let's keep this short. This video is me letting you know that I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my first nine to five, the, the job, the dream job that I always thought I wanted. The only reason why I was going to go to school and get a degree in economics to get a nine to five job, to work in an office and to just day in and day out be in an office. It's what I wanted. And I got that. And I did that for three years. And I'm turning 30 at the end of this month, May 31st. And I'm ready to do something else. I'm ready for the next chapter of the rest of my life. Thank you for watching. You know what people don't tell you what happens when you put in your two weeks, three weeks, month long notice, your letter of resignation? It's that the whole tension in the office changes. I am so excited for the next chapter of my life and if you feel the same way about feeling stagnant in your job even though you thought that you went to school for this and you thought this was your dream job and this is what you're supposed to do and you're going to stay within the industry just remember if you're turning a new leaf and you feel like you want to do something completely different go do you life is short go do everything that you want to do and you can be overwhelmed with all the risk and all the scary things am I gonna be homeless am I gonna make enough money da -da -da -da. just do it and I, I'm not a success story just yet but I know that I know myself and I can do anything and so I'm gonna pull myself out of a very stagnant mundane situation and give myself a new business